Question 20. The table below shows the distances in kilometres between a number of towns. Part A. Using the vertices given, draw a weighted network diagram to represent the information shown in the table. Analyse the table one row at a time to determine which towns are connected and the distances between them. Take note that the table is symmetrical in the diagonal shown, so only analyse the cells that are above or below the diagonal, but not both, which will save some time. I'm going to analyse the cells that are above the diagonal. Looking at the first row, town S is connected to towns Y and B. And the distance between town S and town Y is 280 kilometres. The distance between town S and town B is 275 kilometres. This is indicated on the network diagram here and here. So we draw an edge between vertex S and vertex Y and write 280 next to that edge, which indicates the distance between towns S and Y. And drawing an edge between vertex S and vertex B and writing 275 next to that edge, which indicates the distance between town S and town B. Looking at the second row of the table, we can see that town C is connected to town Y and the distance between those two towns is 60 kilometres. Town C is also connected to town B and the distance between those two towns is 150 kilometres. This is indicated by drawing an edge between vertex C and vertex Y and writing 60 here and also drawing an edge between vertex C and vertex B and writing 150 here. Looking at the third row and analysing the cells that are above the diagonal, we can see that town Y is connected to town M and the distance between those two towns is 530 kilometres. And that is indicated by drawing an edge between vertex Y and vertex M and writing 530 next to that edge. Looking at the fourth row and looking at the cells that are above the diagonal, we can see that town B is connected to town M and the distance between those two towns is 790 kilometres. And that is indicated by drawing an edge between vertex B and vertex M and writing 790 next to that edge, which indicates the distance between town B and town M. Part B. A tourist wishes to visit each town. Draw the minimum spanning tree which will allow for this and determine its length. A spanning tree that connects all five vertices in this network together without cycles requires four edges, and there are many possible spanning trees. To draw the minimum spanning tree, which is the spanning tree of minimum weight, an algorithm will need to be applied, such as Kruskal's algorithm or Prim's algorithm. In this solution, I'm going to apply Kruskal's algorithm. Kruskal's algorithm involves selecting edges in ascending weight order, starting with the smallest edge first, but in such a way that no cycles are introduced. The first edge to select in this case is edge CY with weight 60. Then edge CB with weight 150. Then edge BS with weight 275. Now note that by selecting edge SY, we create a cycle. So edge SY cannot be included. So the next edge to select is edge YM with weight 530, and that completes the minimum spanning tree. So drawing the minimum spanning tree here, the length of the minimum spanning tree is found by adding the four edges together. So 60 plus 150 plus 275 plus 530 is equal to 1015 kilometers.